Hey, what's up guys? So I just recently got the small HD focus monitor and I love this monitor, but there are a few things that I hate about it. I'm gonna tell you them right now. Number one, and most importantly, so I got my small HD monitor, got my camera, this is an A6300. I'll plug it onto here with the hot shoe, tighten it up, get it nice and tight. Let's plug the HDMI cord in. Okay, now, so it's all set to go, just need my battery. Now I wanna use an MPF 970 battery because these have amazing capacity on them. So, I'm gonna plug this thing in, like that. Now we're all plugged in, ready to go. Let's turn it on. There we go, it's on and ready to go. Now, let's say I wanna swivel this monitor to the front. I can't because the 970 battery hits the top of the hot shoe. I can turn it upside down like that and go that way, but I can't continue to circle that way either because it hits the hot shoe there. So the only way I can tilt it is that and that. I can't go flip it up. If you have a 550 on there or even a 750, that's fine. This is actually the size of the battery they give you, um, but it costs an extra $100 and I don't think that's really worth it. So this, I can swivel any way I please. I can swivel all day long with this on because the battery's not as deep. So that's my number one concern. My number two concern, which is just as valid, is this hot shoe mount on the right. So say I wanna plug my Rode VideoMic Pro into this, slide it in, tighten it down, I'm gonna run this cord back here. It's like the perfect length, it just barely reaches into the slot, plug it in, there we go. Now the problem is, when I want to rotate this, you see that road cord? It gets caught sometimes like that, and it's just pulling the road cord. So I have to manually go in, do that, get it out of the way, and it's gonna catch again. Gotta do that, get it out of the way, oh, catching again right there. So I think, this, I think this may be reversible. Somehow I could just flip, flip this around and have the bracket on this side and have the, hot, the cold shoe mount over here. Um, but I'm not sure exactly how that's all gonna work. Let's try it actually, let's see. So I'd have to have the monitor upside down, but it, it auto flips, so that's not a huge deal. So let's take this, I won't do this, plug it in, okay. So now I assume, now I feel like we're gonna have a problem with the HDMI cord, because it barely reaches. So let's see here. So we plug HDMI on this side, like that. Okay. Well, see now the HDMI cord, it stretches and you can't really get a full flip out of it. You can flip one time, but not more than that. That's all you're gonna get. So that's just kind of a small inconvenience. I wish they would have put um, a quarter 20 on both sides of the monitor so that we could flip it and still have the HDMI cable coming out this side as well as the road mic coming out this side straight into the side. That'd have been nice. And my third concern is the HD, actual HDMI cord. So it's a nice cord and everything and it fits in really well, but if this ever breaks, I'm not sure um, if I'm gonna be able to get any aftermarket um, cables for this that are gonna fit exactly in this little slot right here. Um, so that's gonna be an issue uh, because it fits, like it's hard to even get out, let me see. Yeah, it's like a fits specifically right in that hole. Snaps right in. I don't know if any other HDMI connector is gonna do that, any aftermarket ones. So that's my third concern. Um, I know they sell them on the website, but I'm not sure how much they sell for. So that's, so maybe if this breaks or if you break this HDMI cord, Maybe that's a $50 fix. I don't know how much it is on the website, but that's just something I thought of. Everything else on this monitor, I absolutely love. I mean, this thing is amazing. I love it so much. I was concerned at first about the sharpness of it, um, but I was definitely blown away by how sharp it was. And I will be doing a video coming up about my favorite things about the monitor. So this was three things I hate about it. Next video, I'm gonna make three things I love about this monitor. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you like this content. I'll have more coming out in the future, and there's some old stuff, too, you can watch. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Have a good day.